мене тут є деякі фото. I have some photos of politicians here. Could you please take a look and tell me who's a friend of Ukraine and who is not really? Джо Байден. Джо Байден. Борис Джонсон. Борис Джонсон is a 100% a friend of Ukraine. Це у нас. This is the UK. There are friends. Johnson Nuke. Mr. Johnson Nuke. Thank you for your help. Thank you so much. I can recognize him, but his name uh, Biden? Boris Johnson has supported Ukraine since the very beginning of full-scale war. I still remember that he has a profile picture on Instagram with the Ukrainian flag around it. Just the best friend. Good afternoon, everybody. Slava, Ukraini. Orban. Orban blocked aid to Ukraine many times. He blocked military aid. He's a bad person. What else can I say? He also met with Putin in China not so long ago. This is probably someone from the European Union. Of course, there is a flag of European Union behind him. I will give you a hint. He's from Hungary. Um, they're generally pro-Russian and against Ukrainians. Is it Orban? Orban? Orban! He is not a friend. Hungary is not a friend. I know that they cooperate with Russia. There is no solution on the battleground. Russians will not lose. It's hard to say. This is not straightforward. In general, he provided a lot of aid, but these recent events with the grain embargo, a very unpleasant situation. This comparison of Ukraine to a drowning man sounded offensive to me personally. Chwyta się wszystkiego, mówi się przecież przy słowie tonący brzytwy się chwyta. Rzeczywiście tonący chwyta się wszystkiego, czego się da. Trochę to jest taka sytuacja jak dzisiaj między Polską a Ukrainą. No, ale ich można We can probably understand them. They need to somehow support their own economy. I don't understand this conflict at all, because it can all be discussed in a normal way. It's just that most people don't want it. Duda! He's a friend, of course. Poland is one of the countries that provides the largest humanitarian aid. It shelters the most Ukrainian refugees, and Duda's policy is aimed at helping Ukrainians. Question, who is this? Do you know? This is the Prime Minister of Italy, Georgia Milani. I see. I don't know her, but I think that they are our friends. This woman is from Croatia, isn't she? From Italy. Ah, from Italy. Is her name Peloni? Georgia Milani. Melanie. Melanie? Ah, Georgia Meloni. Oh, got it. She is 100% a friend of Ukraine. She supports Ukraine. She is anti Putin. Is he a friend or not? I think he's not, because they treat us like we are not friends. Friends help each other, but they always refuse to. He's rather a friend. I also think that he probably is. We support Israel, so it must be so. No, he's not a friend of Ukraine. In many moments, he either simply refused to provide help or remained silent. Definitely not a friend of Ukraine. Macron is in between. Why? It seems to me that he plays both sides. Oh, Emmanuel Macron. I know him. This is France. They must be friends in any case. They were friends. I think that Macron is more of a friend because France gives quite a lot of military aid to Ukraine. Macron, he is a friend of Ukraine. He provided a lot of aid. He has a pro-Ukrainian position. Not to that extent as Joe Biden, but better than Scholz. Biden. Plus. Objectively a plus. Why? I just like him. Thank you, Mr. President. Biden. Biden. So he is a friend, isn't he? A friend, a friend. They supply us with weapons. So friends, we're all friends. Biden gave us a lot of aid. His rhetoric is pro-Ukrainian. Let's hope he wins the elections, not Trump. Trump is not our friend. I'm giving him a dislike. He's not really a friend of Ukraine. His actions show that he supports Russia more. Trump said Putin's smart. I mean, he's taken over a country for $2 worth of sanctions. I'd say that's pretty smart. 
He's, he's taking over a country, a, really a vast, vast location, a great piece of land with a lot of people and just walking right in. He has an isolationist policy in the US. This means there is little interference in foreign politics, which is not good for us because we need America's help. That is why he is not our friend. I would not say that he's our friend. As far as I know, he slowed down many arms transfer processes. He seems to support Ukraine, but at the same time he seems to be leaning towards Russia a little bit. Ah, this is the Chancellor of Germany. They strongly support Ukraine. They give us weapons, tanks. Of course, there were also moments when they didn't want to give us something, but in principle, more yes than no. There are also many Ukrainian refugees in Germany. He is definitely a better friend than Netanyahu, but I don't like him. I don't know who this is. This is Schultz from Germany. Did they give us leopards in the end? They did. Well done. So he's a friend? He is. Xi Jinping, president of China. He's neutral. They're not our friends. They cooperate with Russia, if I'm not mistaken. I do not like it. China. Rather not a friend. It supports Russia. They seem to be neutral and condemn Russia, but not really. I don't remember what exactly is envisioned by the Chinese peace plan for Ukraine, but as far as I can remember, it is definitely not something in our favor. It says something about the renunciation of the occupied territories. That's it. He is not our friend. Who is this? <laughs> to be honest, I'm bad at recognizing faces. Rishi Sunak, he is a conservative. Uh, I don't like him when it comes to many things. Is he a friend of Ukraine? Well, he didn't do anything anti-Ukrainian, but he's definitely not at the level of Boris Johnson. Storm shadow missiles were provided to Ukraine under Rishi Sunak. This is a big plus. These missiles have helped us a lot and are still helping us. That is why he is a friend of Ukraine. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and let us know in the comment section below what else you want us to cover.